You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. Thursday was a violent day at schools all across Maryland. First, we start with Howard High School going on lockdown. The school says that there was some sort of an altercation on campus and denies that a weapon was involved. Administrators say they are aware of the rumors circulating. It is asking the public, the parents, students to wait until Howard County Police have concluded its investigation. And then we had at Linganore High School, a student is facing assault charges for threatening another student with a knife. This is in Frederick, just north of the downtown part of the city. A county school spokesperson says the 19 year old student turned the knife over to police and did not harm anybody. That student is now facing charges of first and second degree assault, reckless endangerment and possession of a deadly weapon on school property. A project more than 15 years in the making downtown now in its final stages Thursday. The Hippodrome Foundation held a ceremonial groundbreaking for renovations and the M and T Bank Pavilion. The Hippodrome project started back in 2004, focusing on renovating four buildings to bring Broadway shows back to Baltimore. But they only finished three buildings. This fourth one was stuck in limbo. Well, now the foundation says that building will become a flexible event space where affordable entertainment will be offered, as well as free entertainment and aid for Baltimore's next generation. The Hippodrome Foundation provides free outreach for thousands of students every year and will be the main users of the center. And we are looking at sunshine for the start of your Friday. Temperatures are going to be a little chilly in the morning, but things get better heading into the afternoon. Now, don't expect numbers like what we saw on Thursday will not be quite as warm, but in the mid 50s for the afternoon with daytime highs are going to crest in the upper 50s for us here in the city of Baltimore, a little bit cooler elsewhere. Check out that 10 degree difference between Parkton and the city. It's going to be chilly in Parkton, but as we head into the weekend, the numbers continue to fall and I expect us to fall to the lower 50s by Sunday, which is where we should be. Another front approaches on Monday and brings a chance of rain and cooler numbers by Tuesday. All right, Patrick, thank you. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're out there so busy, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.